Hey there, puzzlers! My name is Fleb, and today I'm going to be covering a very elaborate twisty puzzle called the Crazy Bad 4x4x6 Fisher Cuboid. This was sent to me for free by Puzzle Crate, which is a monthly puzzle subscription service. The name is quite a mouthful, so let's break it down word by word. The cuboid part refers to the fact that this isn't a cube, but is sort of an extended cube. The Fisher part refers to Tony Fisher, who's been a twisty puzzle designer for almost 40 years. The original Fisher cube was a 3x3 cube that looked like this, where, much like a Rubik's cube, the object was to put all the colors back in the right places, but instead turned around diagonal. So you could do shape-shifting moves like this. Now the 4x4x6 part refers to the fact that it has the same top face as a 4x4x4 Fisher cube. It just has six layers. And finally, the Crazy Bad part refers to the fact that it was originally invented by Crazy Bad Cuber, who was a fellow YouTuber and has a great channel. I'll link it at the end of this video. You can also think about this puzzle as a natural extension of some of the other twisty puzzles that exist. For instance, a 3x3 cube becomes a 3x3 Fisher cube. Moving up to a bigger size, a 4x4x4 cube becomes a 4x4x4 Fisher cube. And moving up to the biggest size, a 4x4x6 cuboid becomes a 4x4x6 Fisher cuboid. So let's get started scrambling this thing. In order to get a good scramble, I'm going to scramble it with a bunch of moves that preserve its shape, and then I'm going to do a bunch of shape-shifting moves. The puzzle turns quite nicely for its size and shape. Usually it's a lot tougher to turn puzzles like this. Alright, let's get started solving this thing. Now when I started to solve this puzzle, I had some idea of what I was doing. I had the idea that the first thing I had to do was something like this that's all mixed up in its shape, so get it back to its normal shape. But try as I did, I actually had a lot of trouble doing this. And eventually, I came to a conclusion. I don't have the skills to solve this yet. It's okay. You're never going to be able to solve every puzzle the first time that you attempt it. What I need to do is learn the techniques that go into the puzzles before this. I've never solved a 3x3x3 Fisher cube. For that matter, a 4x4x4 Fisher cube I've never solved either. And so what I've done is I've created a plan, a plan to understand this puzzle by understanding the simpler puzzles that it's an extension of. As I go along this journey, I'm going to be filming what I learn when I learn it. You can see my flow chart here. In order to finally understand this puzzle, I'm going to need to understand at least six other puzzles. It may be days, it may be weeks, it may be months, but eventually I will solve this puzzle. And I hope that you will enjoy learning about these puzzles with me as I go along. It's strange to not solve a puzzle during one of my videos, and I'm not quite sure how to end this. I think this is a very difficult puzzle for someone who does not know very much about twisty puzzles. And I look forward to learning the techniques that will enable me to solve it. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. And as always, happy puzzling.